Oh hello, I am back with another Photoshop tutorial, one that I hope you will find interesting. It's one you've been asking for. So today what we're going to do is we are going to um, cut this flower out and we are going to place it on to a background, which if it will open, there we go. Um, that is the background we are going to place our flower on today. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to unlock this layer and I'm not going to double click this time, I'm just going to click the padlock that will also unlock your layer. And this is a reasonably easy image to, um, to cut out because it has a solid colour background. So that is absolutely what I would recommend you um, play around with and start with, something with a simple um, solid colour background. And this one is a, not tricky, but it's going to take a little bit more time because the tool we're going to use today, um, we've got a lot of little bits to cut out. Uh, I didn't want to show you anything too easy, but I didn't want to use a complicated tool because as with everything in Photoshop, there are several ways to do any of this. We are going to be using the magic wand tool today and it's this fourth tool down. So if you click and hold, you'll see there's a quick sele uh, selection tool and a magic wand tool. We're going to select the magic wand and it really is magic. If you click anywhere on your background, if you have a look at the top here, I've set my tolerance to 50. You can change the tolerance depending on your background. If you have a slight variation, you might want to increase this slightly to 100, but what you have to be really careful of is if there are um, areas in your image that are of a similar colour, it will also select those. So it's it's best to leave it as low as possible and I'm happy with 50. Once I have this area selected, you can see my little marching ants, the little dotted line going around. All I'm going to do on my keyboard is hit backspace. And as you can see, it is magic. It's deleted most of that background for me. Now I'm just going to hit command or control on the keyboard and the plus. And you can see I am zooming in. So I can now see these other areas and I'm going to just go around the image doing the same thing. I'm going to click in the white spaces and hit backspace on the keyboard. So click into the gaps and hit backspace. Once you get the hang of it, you can move fairly quickly and you can see some of the areas I'm deleting are slightly grey. They are not all um, white. And this tool works really, really well and it is very straightforward. So as you can see, we've done a good selection already. We've got a little area here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit further and I'm going to, same process, click and delete. Now you might find some of it is not perfect, but that's fine because we are very, very zoomed in on this image. Let's just check. Think we have I'm just going to hit command or control on the keyboard and minus just to zoom out a little bit now you can see I've still got a little area selected here before we move on to delete the text I'm just going to hit command or control D on the keyboard to dismiss those marching ants I've got a little area here that I've missed just get rid of that and we have a pretty good selection there so um, we're now going to just move on to deleting this text. You might also have little patches of um, background that you want to remove and this is a very straightforward way to do that. Um, this tool here is the eraser tool. We want the straightforward eraser and it does exactly what it says on the tin. Again, you can change your brush, uh, brush size by using the open and close square brackets. And you can... Why is that not working? Let's just control command and D. Um, just go along and delete your text. Simple. We now have a pretty good selection and that wasn't very difficult. So um, I'm going to select my move tool. I have unlocked this layer so I'm good to go. I'm going to hit command or control C on my keyboard to copy this image. I'm then going to click my background tab and I'm going to hit command or control V to paste my image onto my page. I still have my move tool selected so I can now move this image around. Now if you want to resize, of course you can do that as we did in a previous tutorial. You hit the command or control T, that will bring up your freeform 
transform box and I'm going to click the lock to hold in that proportion to lock that proportion I'm now going to just make it a little bit bigger and if you can see I've now got my curly arrow I'm just going to twist it a little bit I'm going to move it down and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard just to select um, to make that selection and to um, to crop the way I want that flower so now all that's left is to hit file and save as you now have two layers over here you can see we have two layers um, as we have two layers I would absolutely recommend you save this as a Photoshop document as well as a JPEG if you plan to use it immediately if you save it as a Photoshop document you'll be able to come back and work on these layers which is what we're going to do in the next tutorial in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how we can use the blending tools now we have our flower pasted onto our background so I hope you join me for the next tutorial thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this useful and easy to follow I will see you soon